You know, we don't get to define what is sin or what isn't sin, yeah. uh, and we don't get to change that definition because it may be inconvenient to the bottom line. And, you know, I think Scripture also says a little something about that, doesn't it? About, well, you know, people are going to have to make a decision and yeah. have to either, you know, get a mark so that they can engage in commerce yeah. uh, and, and, or, or, or stand firm on the, the word of life and the truth well, of Scripture. Yeah. If, I, if it were me, uh, I, would, uh, I would stop supporting. If, if I were supporting World Vision, and I don't, we have a child through Gospel for Asia, our family does, but I, I would stop supporting World Vision as soon as possible and find you another agency to sponsor a child. I know that's probably going to, it's easier for me to say than to do uh, for those people who've had a child that they've developed a relationship with. But I think that's what World Vision's counting on is, is you being emotionally bonded to that child. And so you're not going to quit supporting World Vision. They're just going to be able to get away with this decision i think it's going to hurt them uh long, short term and long term uh, uh and so we'll see what happens there go go ahead yeah go ahead well more more importantly i well and there are great organizations i mean there's there's samaritan's purse there's uh uh, food for the hungry that you know there are great humanitarian organizations that do a lot of the same kind of work um, that are going to remain true to scripture now but but I'm more concerned I mean I'm with with world vision I mean I'm concerned for Richard Stearns I'm concerned for his relationship with Christ I'm con- he's right. going to have to answer to God for this right and and so are the people who are facilitating this within world vision to do things in the name of Christ that that God calls an abomination I wouldn't want to be standing before God and have to explain myself no